gente, volvimos, volvimos y aquí tenemos algo nuevo. I want, I'm gonna get straight to it. We're not going to uh, beat around the bush. Tú sabes. Let's talk a little bit about Abdul. So, good old Ab. Where do I start? In the case of Abdul, Abdul has a bit of a struggle, guys. But with every struggle comes a solution. Your job as a barber is to find the solution for a problem that your client gives you. Not all solutions come easily, but if you come correct, if you are tuned in, the solution will come. The solution will present itself. So let's take a look at the challenge, the problem. So the problem is he's super light on top. Now, there's a lot of different approaches that we can go about this. And in my case, I had to, I had to persuade him. Guess what, Abdul? You gonna get this ball fade. You know why you gonna get this ball fade? Because we gotta help you, bro. We gotta help you. We gotta take away for what you got going on in the top. J hits on the beat. First things first, and numero tres. You know why the number three? Because we gotta keep this thing dark on top. like we meet in the middle. We're gonna lighten it up a little bit, from the top down to maybe the side of the head. And then from there, you know, we work from down all the way up and we meet again. So after the two, I grab the number one and a half, fabulous, and I even lighten it up around the hairline because you know, you don't want that to overlap. You want that nice and tight. So you can come back with the trimmers and do your thing. And after that, we're gonna come back with the number one. And we, uh, you know, line it up even more under the one and a half, and guess what? We're gonna start the balding process with the masters. And I have it all the way closed. And I'm, you know, I'm just trying to have a different approach. And I don't know if you noticed, I, I was checking both sides to make sure I was, you know, around the same level, because you don't want to just have it all high on one side and low on the other. So make sure you check. And after I do that, I come back with my Oster Octanes, my OGs, with the 5 op blade, and I'm just balding it out. Balding it out, guys. Tu sabes que? And after we do that, can anybody guess what's next? That's right. I'm gonna come back with the shavers. Any shavers. I just so happen to have these. But if you have a different type, it's okay. As long as that thing is tight. Nice and tight. That's all that matters. <laughs> Start the process and still come back with the trimmers to pretty much erase what you started. Um, look, if it's not taking away that line, I'm, I'm just gonna come back with the trimmers. Sometimes I do it like this, sometimes I don't. I tend to I, I tend to switch it around. I don't have that one system I always go with. I just wanna explore, guys. I wanna explore on what works and what doesn't work and it doesn't end here. Just know that, I promise you, it does not end here. This gets better, just stay put. Stay put, guys.
I will say that that looks like a number one. Yeah, that looks like a number one. Could be a number one, could be a zero. Definitely not a number two, but the number one and the zero pretty close. And is, I mean, I know you guys don't really listen to us barbers too much, but I need you to understand this. Not just you and this, any damn clipper company. I personally feel that if you were to just categorize all your guards with different colors, life would be better. The world would be a better place with colorful guards. <laughs> It can get kind of weird from that point on. Every time you eat, you taste it. Every time you drink, you taste it. Twice. Not just that one time, but you're gonna have some leftovers on your mustache. So, if you're the type of man, a woman, I'm just saying it's possible, that likes to be able to taste twice, then I'm not gonna do much to your mustache. But, if you're somebody that kind of, you know, feels that you don't want that lifestyle, then this is when you got to tune in for that person. You gotta be tuned in, locked in. We're gonna go ahead and help this man not taste twice. Abdul, I got you, bro. side of my desk but look we have reached the next phase stay with me this phase is both interesting and chaotic at the same damn time mira mira esto. we're about to go into the hot towel but look lately i've been doing more hot towels i feel like i've been saying it over and over again in my videos i want to level up and part of leveling up is actually doing it not just talking about it so I've been doing hot towels lately and I've been using Barbasol. Not all the time, not for everything, but the majority is for the edge and because he has a beard, I chose to use it on the beard. Probably the last time I use it on the beard or at least around the nose area. And this is why. So look, this is what happens when you try new things. It doesn't always work out how you played it out originally in your mind okay and in my mind i just applied the barbersaw the right amount of barbersaw and my client was going to both be calm relaxed 
but also be able to breathe. And, um, you know, Abdul, he, he was able to breathe just through one nostril. The other nostril was clogged up with Barbasol. Like I said, I didn't do it again after this. <laughs> Now for cachete number one, we're gonna go ahead and give it a light trim. See, Abdul wants to keep the line up as high as possible, right? So we're gonna do that. Now, I don't know why your boy Fonz chose to go ahead and, and, and use the trimmers right after we used the hot towel. Fonz, I don't know what was going on with you, brother. Like, I, I really feel like you could have just gone straight for the razor, but hey, this is how you felt. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put too much pressure on you, Fonz. But maybe next time, go for the razor. So sorry. All right, boys and girls, it's time for art class. So I'm no artiste per se, but I've been dabbling with colors for quite a while now. And um, I'm gonna call this segment of the video the Bob Fonz, paying homage to Bob Ross. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna tap it into our inner artiste. You feel me? We're gonna go ahead and uh, apply some color. Get to sabe. So right there, as you can see, we're gonna zoom in to the tools that I'm using at, in, in, in the video. I'm just, it's not really this though, but you know, I just wanted to have this for the dramatic value. We don't need this. Let's zoom in into my hands. First of all, I got an application brush. Now this application brush is actually the one that you get when you buy the Just For Men, right? It's a little curved brush. The bristles are pretty firm. I prefer it out of many application brushes so far. It's my favorite. The only downside is you gotta buy the actual Just For Men pack. Así que, you know, you choose. If you have any better suggestions though, let me know. Cause otherwise, application brushes are pretty hard to find. But anyways, I'm using a semi-permanent. Uh, it's a mixture of uh, dark brown with jet black, all right? And I, I just used a little bit of the jet black and a little bit more of the dark brown. And, you know, mixing it up. I'm stirring it up. And after I stir it up and have enough in the bristles, right before I apply, I kind of just take a little bit off, like Bob Ross would do, ya tu sabe. A little bit of that on my hand, on the glove. Which, by the way, that is a major pro. The major pro out of wearing gloves is this. I mean, there's other pros, obviously, safety and all that, but right now, we're talking inner artiste. Wearing a glove, ya tu sabe, trabaja, trabaja.
this earlier as I was getting my inner artiste on. Uh, whenever you notice that the color is coming out too, like I mean very dark, go ahead and grab the towel and line it up a little bit. Now, if you have white towels, you might not want to do this. I suggest getting some dark towels and these are going to be towels that you use for your color work. It's a good way to lighten up your work. So, you know, don't do this with white towels though. Like you really don't want to do this with white towels. Hope you understand this. It's very important, but it's a great nugget that I can leave with you guys. Use it. My hand is still dirty. Thanks, Lorenzo. <laughs>
looked different once. He even cried about it. Not really. But when you come to get saved by your barber, your barber's going to take care of you. When, you. when you go above and beyond, when you care about what you do, you take a client that looks like this. It does not get back on the He ends up looking like this. And not only does he look like that as the light shines. Tú sabes qué? Apaga la luz. Abdul, you look different, bro. What's up, kid? This is saving a life. I don't know what else to say. Look, Abdul, this was a journey. You came in looking a certain way. You almost lost your breath. This service was breathtaking, literally and figuratively. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this. Was it breathtaking? Guys, remember, don't be afraid to try new things. And even if it doesn't always turn out the way you want it to turn out, you keep going, you analyze, collect data, go back to the drawing board, and then, and then, you do it again. Mete mano. So, I hope you like this video, guys. Abdul, homie, I appreciate you, bro. I appreciate you. You came through. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching another video. I love y'all, and I'll see you on the next one. Hasta luego.